Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NIO. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Very nice, well, I was gonna say not very nice movement today, but uh, that's not, not the right way to put it. Very nice price movement, the final 30 minutes of today. And right there it represents the final 30 minutes of the day from a volume perspective. So you can see volume came surging in, and then right there represents the final 30 minutes from a price action perspective, and a big old green candle there formed. So overall, yeah, today was actually red from where it was, but the way it closed definitely brings up a whole lot of uh, you know, intrigue going forward. So the the, the big, and the, none of this is like some sort of great discovery on my part. So I, I'm not trying to come across like nobody else has, has noticed this. I assure you, plenty of people have noticed this and are now wondering, wow, that final 30 minutes, is this the start of something bigger? So if it is the start of something bigger, the first sign that it's gonna, you know, that it actually is, uh, you know, has some true strength behind it is gonna be, well, can the price finally get up above and not necessarily get up above, but more importantly, stay up above? What do I mean by that? Well, looking back here, you can see the price actually got up above that purple line. The problem was, problem was when it came to staying up above it, that's where the price suffered and you know eventually fell back below it. So the big thing, you know, that first kind of leads off everything is just simply getting up above the purple line. But then the second big thing is, can the price stay up above it? And that'll be a good sign that you know what, maybe this final 30 minutes is some sort of you know leading indicator of a bigger move to come. If the price can get the the, the true break above that purple line. Uh, then the next key overarching level is going to be that pink line up there, the big brother of the 50 period moving average, uh, the 200 period moving average up there at the pink line. So 50 period again is the purple line, and then the 200 period moving average is up there at the pink line. So keep an eye on those couple areas of resistance from, you know, the is this going to get any stronger? Does this movement have any sort of true strength? Well, simply put, let's just see if the price can actually start to break through some areas of resistance. On the flip side of things, and this isn't really relevant necessarily right now because the price made that big move final 30 minutes, but overall, $2.83 has really kind of made itself known as that area of support. You can see back there on Monday morning, the price did a great job of bouncing off it. And then again, this afternoon before the big movement happened, that is right where the price bounced from again. So 283, very clear level of support. But yeah, overall, very, very impressive final 30 minutes. So let's see if this is the start of something bigger or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.